About 40 million adults age 18 and older suffer from anxiety in the U.S., making it the most common mental disorder in the region. It develops from a complex set of factors that include genetics, brain chemistry, personality, and life events. It's more than just feeling nervous to speak at a public event. It's a mental disorder characterized by excessive worry or fear, strong enough to interfere with daily life. With that, many don't realize things a person does because of their anxiety. This is a list of 13 of those things. Number one, you disappear without notice. Anxiety can hit you anywhere, whether it's at the grocery store, a party, or at work. You just need 15 minutes alone to recollect yourself. People who don't understand anxiety may see this as rude or weird, but it's something that you really need. Number two, you freak out over the time it takes someone to respond to your text. Anxiety blows a lot of things out of proportion. Whether you send a text to your mom or that special someone, when they take a while to respond, you begin to wonder if what you said was a little too weird, too rude, or if you're annoying them. Why are they taking forever? Was it something I said? Number three, you overcheck things. Teachers have always told you to double check your homework before turning it in, but what if you check it too much? Too much to the point of never turning it in. Your anxiety makes you a perfectionist. Whether it's homework or checking to see if the door is locked, you check and recheck things multiple times. Sometimes you know something is perfect, but your anxiety won't let you relax unless it's checked one more time or two. Number four, you don't go to parties. It's not that you're antisocial, you actually do want to go to the party. Whether it's worrying about the big crowd or loud music, all you want to do is have a good time like everyone else. But you know your anxiety won't let you. Because of that, you skip the party altogether. Number five, you've let opportunities pass you by. As a perfectionist, you often think you're not good enough for opportunities presented to you. You become afraid of failing and making a fool of yourself. Because of this, you convince yourself to not take the opportunity at all. But before we continue with the list, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Intention Inspired. This brand is doing a really cool challenge called 30 Days of Brave. If you have anxiety or just need a little encouragement to do something you've always wanted, this challenge is perfect for you. So how it works is that when you sign up, you'll get an email every morning at 5 a.m. designed to help you achieve your goals. It will include an intention of the day, exciting challenges that help you set up your day for success, powerful yet simple exercises, inspiring quotes, meditation, meditations and affirmations, and most importantly, you'll be able to connect with a community of like-minded people who just like you want to stretch their minds and push towards braver action. Very cool stuff designed for you to exercise that brave muscle and achieve your goals. What could you do in just 30 days with five minutes per day? So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you sign up. All right, back to the list. Number six, certain dates give you anxiety. People with anxiety tend to remember the exact date of traumatic events. When the date arrives, those emotions once again surface, making it very difficult to get on with your day-to-day -day routine. Number seven, you hold on to your phone too much. Sometimes it's hard for you to just sit and wait. It makes you uneasy to see people busy with something while you're just sitting there. As a result, you need to have your phone or something to fidget with. Number eight, you don't make new friends. It may seem like you don't want to make new friends, but you actually worry too much about the kind of impression you're making on people. Afraid? You convince yourself that making no impression is better than making a bad one. As a result, you end up keeping to yourself even though you really want to meet new people. Number nine, you dread going to school slash work even though you've done it a million times before. Unfortunately, anxiety doesn't care about how many times you've done your day-to-day -day routine. It hits when it wants to hit. Before going to work, you may feel your heart race, have sweaty palms, and feel jittery. Number 10, you're clingy in relationships. You really care about your partner. And due to that, you may ask too many questions or send too many texts because you want to know how they are. This may come off as clingy, but your intentions aren't bad. You're just a little overprotective because of your anxiety. Number 11, you cancel plans. Making plans is tough because in the moment of making a plan, you're confident and ready to take on the world. When the date finally rolls around, anxiety can all of a sudden hit and you have to cancel. Sometimes you even have to cancel the plans you made in the first place. Number 12, you rehearse what you're going to say before making a phone call. You prep and rehearse everything you're going to say before making a phone call because you're afraid of making a mistake or forgetting what you had to say. Now this is great for phone interviews, but it's exhausting when all you want to do is ask customer service a question or talk to a friend. 
Number 13, when you ask someone to be alone, you're not asking them to leave forever. Sometimes you need a break for people in order to calm yourself down. When you take that break, people who don't understand anxiety tend to think you're either upset with them or that you don't like them. It's hard for you to keep friends because of this. You do need your alone time, but you're not asking to be left alone forever. That's the end of the video. If you have anxiety, we at Psych2Go would like to know your thoughts on the list and if we missed anything. Leave that in the comments below and hit that like button. Don't don't forget to check out hashtag 30 days of brave to help you beat your anxiety. We'll see you guys next time.